Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I am going to be testing out um, the world's smallest blower. <laughs> I've had this for a while actually, and I just, well, I forgot I had it <laughs> until somebody reminded me. Um, one of my uh, uh, group friends and subscriber, Kent Mosley. Hi, Kent. <laughs> um, so I really wanted to give it a go and see if it's something that uh, is uh, will work well. I'm I, I really like the uh, the Yeho hair dryer I got, but as you see from a lot of my videos, I'm still blowing it out with my breath because I just feel like I have more control. Um, but I've tested this off camera, this blower off camera, um, twice, and it was consistent and it wasn't all over the place so I was able to control it and I really I really liked that um I didn't I didn't I didn't have high hopes for it because um it just sounds a little pathetic <laughs> but it puts out more um than you think it does however um this little black adapter piece comes off and I so I just used this part um so Let's go ahead and get started with this fun because I'm excited to show you how this works. So I kind of, I kind of brought it down slowly, um, just to kind of control where I'm, where I'm wanting to put it and then kind of turned it.
And I'm back to show you the dried results. But before I do that, I wanted to uh, mention a couple more things about this uh, blower, the, the world's smallest blower. Um, what I didn't realize is it doesn't come with a, um, you know, a plug, an outlet plug. It's just a USB plug. Um, I, I think it's meant to be plugged into your computer. Um, but what I do is I have a plug that looks like this. I got it at the, um, five below, five bucks. Um, but it has, it has two different amps. It has one that says one and then 2.1. I usually put it in the 2.1 and it works great. I did, uh, the first time I used it, I thought, I, th I thought I blew it up. Um, I had one of my, uh, cubes that, uh, you get from, you know, uh, your phone, whatever phone you have. Um, I thought I would plug it into that and plug it into the wall and it worked for like two seconds and then stopped. And I'm like, Oh no, did I blow it up? And, um, <clears throat> I don't know if it was too much ampage. I don't really know too much about that, but when I brought this down and plugged it in, um, it seems to work well. So keep that in mind. And the second thing with this uh, blower is it's it's getting hard to find. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I did buy this a while ago. I bought it on um, LTD Commodities for, I think, around 10 bucks, 10 or 11 bucks. <clears throat> um, and I just checked recently and they don't have it on their site. But when I did a Google search, uh, they were around uh, eBay, Amazon, but they were more between $20 and $30. So I don't know if it's just temporary, if they're going to come back around again. I remember there was a shortage of them before, but just keep that in mind as well um, if this is something that you want to try out. So with that, I'm going to now show you the dried result. So this guy is just beautiful this is my new favorite blue this dark blue um but yeah I, it really it really just didn't move um and that's one of the reasons why i like the <clears throat> glidden minwax pouring medium um the best because it's almost like it freezes the cells once it's wet it dries exactly the same um and i've i've been kind of playing around if you haven't noticed with my pouring mediums, I'll, I'll have two different ones in uh, a video that I'm using. Um, I'm trying to see how much I can use of each and still have the cells stay put without meandering ever so slightly because it just, it just happens. Uh, my consistencies are mostly the same. It's usually you're leaving too much paint on or sometimes I feel like the Bear and the Josonia can be a little bit slippery. Um, I don't really know if that's a thing. It's just kind of my hunch that I'm, so I'm kind of experimenting with it. <laughs> um, but sometimes I go back to the Glidden Minwax just because I know what that's going to give me. And it's, it, it's a look that I'm after. So, um, you know, all these cells, nothing, nothing moved at all. It was just, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, I really like this little blower. I did a few off camera, I told you before, and I'll show you those as well. This was another one that I did on my test piece. I mean, look at those cells. It's just ugh, unbelievable. Um, <clears throat> and if you're, if you're wondering why I do it on such small pieces at first, uh, it's only because I'm test if I'm testing something out, I really don't want to waste a bigger canvas. Um, I get these little four by six panels at the Dollar Tree. Uh, my, my Dollar Tree is back in stock with them. They're usually three for a dollar. But if I can't find them there, I'll get them in bulk on either Amazon or uh, Blick or Jerry's. We'll have them pretty cheap. And they're, they're really nice to use um, for testing purposes, which I do a lot of. <laughs> Um, but also they're really nice like something like this once it's cured I'm gonna varnish it and then I can put it into a picture frame and you know it'd be a great gift or you know if you're selling your art that too um, so anyway <laughs> and then this piece I did on um, some uh, press and seal I wanted to 
do a little bit of a bigger one to see how it would handle and it worked out really well. Also, this is an eight by eight tile. So those are uh, all of my trials with this uh, blower. And I'm going to say it's pretty successful. I'm going to keep playing with it and uh, try maybe going a little bit bigger with it. The biggest I've ever done was 12 by 12. So um, if it can handle that, hey, great. Maybe, you know, maybe I can go a little bit bigger with this. Or maybe I will try the Yeho dryer again. Um, I just get nervous because I know I can control things with my breath. But at any rate, that's my assessment of the world's small, smallest blower. I really like it. I'm going to continue playing around with it. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.